What's up, Pokemon fans? I'm Professor K for the Pokemon Evolutionaries, and we have yet another early product opening for you guys. This time, it's the Blastoise EX Red and Blue Collection Box. This is the second installment of this series. We had Charizard, the Charizard box a couple months ago, and uh, after this, we're going to see Venusaur and then Pikachu. They're all a few months apart, but this is actually street dated to release on May 18th, which is actually tomorrow. But myself and one of my very good friends got a hold of these at the same time. This is going to be a viewer's choice pack battle versus Jordan Japan. Recently hit 40,000 subscribers. Got to give big congrats over to him. Awesome guy over there. If you don't know him, then definitely go check him out. But I'm sure you do by now. He's been doing this for quite a while. Great Pokemon YouTuber over there. Um, but we're going to get this thing cracked open here and do a viewer's choice battle. So you guys are going to want to check out the link in the description down below to his channel and also to his end of the battle. And uh, yeah, I guess may the best PokeTuber win. You guys will decide who has the best pulls out of the box. We're going to cover everything here. We're going to look at the figure a little bit closer. We're going to look at the card, the packs, and all that stuff. I'm just going to get everything out of the box and we'll be right back. Okay, guys, everything is out of the box here, but I figured I'd go ahead and turn it around and show you guys the back of it. Of course, we got our window that kind of goes through here so you can see what's in my background there, which I'm actually really excited about to show you guys. I picked something up today, and I got a little bit of story behind it too, but for now, we've got the Blastoise EX Red and Blue Collection Box. Blast off with Blastoise EX. Blastoise is one of the original superstars of the Pokemon world. Celebrate 20 years of Pokemon with the Pokemon TCG Red and Blue Collection Blastoise EX. You guys already know what's in here. You can pause and read that if you want to, but we've opened up, up enough of these boxes to where you know what's going on with these. They're no different than the Charizard, except for the fact that you got Blastoise instead of Charizard. So there is that. Now, what I'm really excited to show you guys is actually right here. Um, I picked one of these up uh, in my area, actually. Uh, it is the original Pokemon Game Boy Color with the Pikachu, Togepi, Jigglypuff, little Pokeball thing up there. It's so cool. It still works. It's in really good condition. My wife actually found it through OfferUp, which is like a Craigslist type of ad thing. And um, <laughs> it turns out the guy I got it from, I went to school with. Same graduating class. And he knows Andrew, 8-Bit Bach. And it was just crazy how it worked out. I mean, it was like this weird small world thing. But yeah, we got that. So I figured, hey, since I've got that, let's go ahead and feature all of the old games and some of the newer ones as well. This is by no means my entire Pokemon game collection. I actually have more, but this is all I could fit in the camera without stuff falling over. So you got red, blue, yellow, sapphire, because it's weird shaped, gold, silver, Pokemon trading card game. We got pearl, heart gold, black, and Y. Of course, I also have Oras as well. I've got uh, X, I've got black or white too. Uh, a bunch of other games too. I think I have Crystal somewhere too. Just a lot of different games and the Pokemon Pinball game as well. But anyways, enough about that. Let's show you what's in this box here. You do have a code here for the TCG. Uh, for four packs of generations, you get your Blastoise EX card and you get your sleeves and stuff like that. But let's take a look at this beautiful looking Blastoise card here. Blastoise EX 180 HP, Rapid Spin and Splash Bomb. This is a reprint of the X and Y set Blastoise EX. We got Gyarados in the background, we got Vaporeon in the background, just an awesome looking artwork. This is X and Y promo number 122. So yeah, like I said, this is just a really cool looking card. I really like it a lot. Uh, definitely just gorgeous. I mean, I can't really say much more than that. It's fantastic, just like the full art Charizard from before. And then of course you get your little uh, paper here that shows off all of the different legendaries that are featured for the 20th anniversary of Pokemon. And then you've got your little checklist here for the boxes that are coming out. So far, we've gotten Mew, Celebi, Jirachi, Darkrai. We've gotten Charizard and Blastoise. So we're still waiting on Manaphy, which is going to come up for June. We've got Shaman for July, Arceus for October, or I'm sorry, uh, June, July, August. September, Victini, October, Keldeo, November, Genesect, and December, we Meloetta. we got Venusaur EX and Pikachu EX still to come out as well. So we got a lot of generation stuff coming out here uh, to look forward to as time goes by for this year. And now we're going to take a look at this figure. Oh, this figure, it's so powerful. I mean, the Charizard one is pretty similar. I'm actually going to grab one here real quick to show you guys. You know, you got Charizard coming out of flames. It only makes sense for Blastoise to be coming out of water and with his uh, cannons here firing. And this cannon, for some reason, kind of looks like it's become ice. It's kind of weird. That's not really a cannon of its own. It just kind of froze over or what? I don't know if it's missing. It's kind of weird. It's just like how one wing is burnt on Charizard. It's kind of a mystery, but yeah, that's pretty cool. 
I do like the way that looks. We got 2016 Pokemon on the bottom there. Very, very cool looking figure. We're going to set that up in the background over there as well. And we are going to get into these four packs of Generations. We've got one pack artwork of each one. And as I said, this is a viewer's choice battle versus Jordan Japan. So you guys can uh, go check out his link in the description below. See who wins in the battle. Viewer's choice. You guys decide the winner. We're going to go in an order this time that makes sense to me. Let's go ahead and start with Venusaur first. Actually, we're going to save Blastoise for last. He's the star of the box. We're going to save him for last. That's going to be our lucky pack. We're going to pull two Ultra Rares out of there. I guarantee it. it. Well, if I had Psychic Abilities, I suppose I could guarantee it. But I'm just hoping that that's the lucky pack. I guess we'll have to find out here as we get closer to the end. But um, yeah, really still like Generations a lot. Pulled some really, really great stuff out of it. Um, hopefully that look continues though, because I've got a pretty good record here against Jordan. So far, I think I'm 2-0. I don't think he's beaten me. I can't remember though. He might have beaten me once, but I know for a fact I've won at least once too. So here we go. All right. So we've got a Rhyhorn, Zubat, Ponyta, Diglett, Gulpin. We've got a Golbat, Evasoda. Metapod is our reverse. We've got a Jirachi from Radiant Collection. And we've got a Hitmonlee. Regular rare. Uh, uh, uh. Nothing good out of that so far. But we got three more packs to go, so there's still time to redeem ourselves in this box. Generally, you see every two packs, I think. Yeah, I think it's like uh, one every other pack you see an Ultra Rare of some kind, whether it be Radiant Collection or Set Ultra Rare. So there's that. We've got a Shelter, Dark Energy, Ghastly, Krabby, Swablu, Cloyster, Imakuni, Reverse Hollows and Olympia, an Altaria, and a Doug Trio. So by all statistical means, those should be our two bad packs. We should get at least one Ultra Rare in both of these packs or two Ultra Rares in one pack. So let's see what Pikachu can do for us. All right. Come on, Pikachu, give us some luck. We need to redeem ourselves two bad packs in a row. And I think we might have something here. So let's see what we've got. We've got a Paris, Pikachu, Fairy Energy, Zubat, got an Esper, Red Card, Crushing Hammer, Pokemon Center Lady Reverse, Deancey, and a Mega Venusaur EX. Oh yes, that's what I'm talking about. We finally got ourselves an Ultra Rare. Very cool, very cool. I'll set that up there in the background. Not exactly appropriate considering this is the Blastoise box. Venusaur, you're supposed to wait your turn, but that's okay. Mega Venusaur is still really cool. And finally, our last pack of Generations against Jordan Japan. Now, since this set has such great pulls, I'm not really feeling too good about our odds unless we pull two Ultra Rares here. But you know what? Hey, this is all for fun and you guys get to pick the winner anyways. So, hey, you know, you can show some love for the Pokemon Evolutionaries here. And maybe if we don't pull the best stuff, hey, maybe still give us the win. You know what I'm saying? Give us a little love. We got him a chop. Grass Energy, Geodude, Pikachu, Esper, Machoke, Pokemon Fan Club, Reverse Hollows Hitmonchan, so that would be worth something in a points battle, but this is viewer's choice. Still going to set that up there because it's a point worthy card. We got a Meow Stick and a Dodrio regular rare. Oh, darn. <laughs> I think this might be one of our worst boxes of generations so far, but that's okay. We still got a Mega Venusaur EX and we've got a Reverse Hollow Hitmonchan rare. Not too bad anyway, I suppose. But uh, we've had a lot of really good luck with generations. The set's already completed, so this is just extra stuff from here. Um, but I, I, I just like getting the boxes for the promo cards and the figures and to open up for you guys so you guys can see what to expect out of these boxes as well. We are still going to be getting some more other boxes too. Don't know if we're going to film the other one or not, but uh, we'll see how it goes. You guys can let us know if you want to see another Blastoise box or not in the comment section down below. And in the meantime, go check out Jordan's channel. Go check out his video. Let us know how good of a box he had. Hopefully it's better than this for his sake. I mean... He deserves it. He's a good guy over there. So go check him out. And if you guys enjoyed this video, be sure to hit that like button, comment down below, and of course, subscribe for more TCG content here on the Pokemon Evolutionaries. We hope to see you guys in the next video. We got a lot of exciting stuff coming up this week. So stay tuned for that, especially tomorrow. You guys are really going to want to pay attention to that. So definitely tune in tomorrow and the rest of the week as well for more content here on the Pokemon Evolutionaries. So until then, guys, take care. I'm Professor K. We'll see you next time.